In this video, we will be evaluating exponential functions. An exponential function is of the form f of x equals b raised to the x power, where b is a positive real number. For our example, we'll be working with the function f of x equals 4 raised to the x. And we're asked to evaluate each of the following. Our first one, f of negative 2, whenever we want to evaluate a function, we just substitute this number or expression into the function wherever we see an x. So this is 4 raised to the negative 2. We'll be using the rule a raised to the negative b is equal to 1 over a to the b. So a negative exponent basically just puts our term into the other part of the fraction. And this, this one in particular is in the numerator because we could put it over 1. So this is... 1 over 4 to the second power. Notice when we put it in the denominator, the negative sign is gone. Now, 4 squared is 16. So 1 over 16 is the value of f of negative 2. f of 5 is 4 raised to the fifth power. So this is the same as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Times 4. And let's find our exponent key on the calculator. On this calculator, we can see that the key that we would use to raise to a power is this upside down V, our little caret thing right here. So to take 4 to the fifth power, we would enter 4 and then hit that key and then our exponent. So this is the expression that we would see when we raise 4 to the fifth power. We press equal, we see that this is 1024. So 4 to the fifth power is equal to 1024. On this calculator, our exponent is right here. So we would have 4, hit that key, and then 5 equals. Our next example, we have f of 2 thirds. So again, we're going to just put that fraction, that 2 thirds, into our exponent. So. Uh, 4 raised to the 2 thirds is our evaluation that we have to do. Uh, use the rule a raised to the b over c is a to the b power and then the c root of that or the c root of a, and then that raised to the b power. Either of those, uh, usually you decide which to use if the number that you're rooting will come out nice. You do the root first to make the quantity smaller 
and then you raise to the, the power. Um, but if it doesn't root nicely into an integer, then you can raise the power. So you'll see some examples of that. So in this problem, um, this is the same as the cube root of 4 and then squared or 4 squared and then cube rooted. Now, the 4 is a square, it's 2 times 2, but it's not a cube. So this example um, is one where the root is not a nice integer. So we're going to use this expression to simplify. This is the cube root of 4 times 4, or 16. And then that is the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now to simplify this, we can see that we have 2 cubed underneath the radical. So in the radicand, you want to try to find a power or an exponent of the base that's equivalent to this index on the radical. So when we have the cube root of 2 cubed, we know that those are inverse relations. So the cube root of 2 cubed I can separate away from the cube root of 2 right here and I end up with then this is just 2 and then the cube root of 2 I have to leave as my radical. Now we can't use our calculator to do this one because we'll end up with a irrational number and we know that that's a decimal that never repeats and never terminates. Right, our next example, to evaluate f of 2.15, again, we'll put that into our function, so 4 raised to the 2.15. Um, this is a problem we need to use our calculator for. We know the answer is going to be, if this was 4 squared, we'd have 16. So we know it's going to be a little bit more than 16. Um, we we'll use our exponent key, this one right here, 4 raised to the 2.15 is about 19.5. Now, if I want two decimals, I'll keep the 69, but I can see that the number right behind that is big enough to boost that up one. So 69, then, is going to go up to 70. So it would be 19.70. So check your directions and see how you need to round that. In this calculator, our exponent key, there it is, y to the x. So I'll have 4, hit that exponent key, and then 2.15, and then the equals. So again, we have 19.69831, and so forth. 